Hi, today we continue with our fall series of decorations inspired by a paint stick from the hardware store. Doesn't that look like a turkey feather? Well, I thought it did and look what we made, Mr. Turkey. Lots of fun, join us. Hi, this is Tweak. Today I'm going to tweak a chrysanthemum. How, it's so beautiful. It's all on its own, a beautiful centerpiece, but I'd like to have some fun with it. And we're gonna turn it into a turkey. How, let me show you. We start off with a pot. And I picked up this pot at a garden center for a couple of bucks, and it has the kind of bottom that's self-watering, so when I get it filled with the mum, I don't have to worry about it leaving a mark or a stain. The supplies you'll need for this project are a pot, hopefully with a nice bottom, some sticks that you pick up in the paint section, and an X-Acto knife and a Sharpie and some glue, and we'll get to the rest as we go. But we're gonna start out with the pot. Back, this is the front. I put an X on the inside to let me know. What I'm gonna do is starting at that center, I'm gonna use nine incisions along the edge of the pot where I can stick in the paint sticks. First, I want to mark where those incisions will be. So this X would make the center, and I'm going to make a mark so that I know where the cut is gonna be, and I'm gonna go a little bit further than the width of the stick. There's one, I'm gonna leave a space, and I'm gonna continue making marks until I get nine marks. I just leave a little bit of plastic in between them so I don't slice all the way through. Okay, now I have an idea where I'm going to cut. Before we cut anything with an X-Acto knife, I need to put down some protection. So I have a piece of cardboard here. And I'm going to very firmly press down and pull forward. Make sure it went through, I did, okay. Leaving a little bit of a gap between each slice. I want just enough of a mark to give the stick enough room to get through. Okay, all right, I've got my holes cut. Next step, these are very pretty, but I wanted them to look like turkey feathers. So I painted them. So I'm gonna see what this lays out. This is just acrylic paint. I think that'll be pretty. What you could do if you want to shine them up a little more is you could add some varnish. Right now, today, I'm going to leave them as is. I'm going to go ahead and poke these in. And I will adjust them once I have them in. you get the idea of the turkey here in a little bit. The pressure of the plastic holds them in place, which is nice. It also makes this whole decoration reusable from year to year. All right, now let's put the plant in. Just set them in the pot. Now I want this to be a little more visible, so I'm gonna push up on the sticks and I'm gonna gradually fan them down on each side. So I want these two to be even, then these two to be even. And if you don't like it, we'll do it over. And then if you want to, you could angle them just a little bit in their spot. I've got my feathers in. Now we're going to work on the next part, which is to put a head on this turkey. Wooden spoon out of the kitchen. There was one, I had two of them, and we cut off the end of it to make it sharp so that I can stick it into the plant. But first I want to decorate it by putting a face on it. And I'm gonna add some eyes. And I'm gonna add a turkey gobbler with some beads. So let's do that. And I've got a nose in here someplace too. A wooden nose, like a beak. And there we go. 
Do I want that beak to be a different color? I'm thinking yes, so I'm going to quickly paint it. Put a tiny bit of yellow in with that caramely color and see what we have a beak color in the end. That's a very nice beak color. Look at that. Done. While this is dried, I just want a happy look on his face. And there we go. We've got our beak. So I'm going to attach the beak. And what I'd like to do is put the beads on either side. What I did was I just took some wire and strung assorted beads that I had kicking around. And I would kind of like to place this wire on either side and affix it so that it stays. That's better. Okay, now I'm going to go like this. A bit of glue. And hold that in place. That went better than I thought it would. <laughs> it like that to the spoon. So let's do that. Use a goodly amount of glue. And I'm going to put the beak in there and let it sit. It worked. I get these ideas and I think, well try this or try that. That actually looks pretty darn cute. Look at, and it's staying too, so that is gonna be our turkey head. Oh, he needs eyeballs. And I like these googly eyes because they move around. I'm just gonna place them close down to the beak. Turkeys actually have their eyes on the side of their heads, but this one's gonna be cross-eyed. And who cares, right? One. And two. And wait for that to hold. And the googly eyes are placed. <laughs> he needs eyebrows. Sharpie. And I don't have much room, but I'm gonna put a couple little eyelash marks. Just throw them in there. What do you think? Come, come, come on. I really think he's turning out cute. He is going to go poked into the front Let's bring our mom back. And I'm just going to find a spot and gently look it for my center and push him in to the plant. Don't have to go far, just so he stays. That's what we have so far. <laughs> a few more little adjustments here. I'm using a clothespin, regular old wooden clothespin. You take it apart by giving it a scrunch and pulling it out, and that little piece of hardware comes right off. These are easy to come by, clothespins are, but to me, they looked like turkey toes. And they're flat on one side, and I just thought that looks so funny. If you shape them up like this, they really look like turkey toes. I need six of them because I'm only going to show three of the feet in the front. And what I'm going to do is take a piece of felt and attach the toes to the front of it. And this will sit right in front of the base of the pot and this part will go underneath the pot so it's stable and will stay in place. So here we go. Let me move this piece out of the way. And I'm going to cut a piece of felt two pieces of felt, and I'm going to arrange the toes, and then after I fix them with glue, I'm going to cut in between so you don't see the black as much. So here we go, glue gun. Just get them to stick here, and they can be touching. There's one set. When it's sticking out of the pot, it's going to look like the turkey's feet. 
like he's sitting there. And he is sitting there, isn't he? I'm just going to take the scissors. I'm going to cut along. And if I have to cut more to adjust to the pot, I can do that. But right now I'm just cutting along the toe. I've got my turkey toes. And what I'm going to do to them is have them sit on the bottom of the pot. Come here, turkey. You're going to have some toes. What have we got here now? Turkey, turkey. Lay you together and you now have feet. Once I stick it there, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be there forever. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to put down a little more cardboard because just in case I try to lose something to the table here. Here we go. Turkey, turkey. Here's your toes. Will it stick? No one knows. Okay, so I'm going to take this off and lay down a bunch of glue. Plant the pot back on. All right, we have his feathers, his head, his feet. Now I'm going to give him a little bit of a tail. And to do that, I'm going to use the felt, black felt, and some old fabric leaves that I had kicking around. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is cover up this area here. And I'm going to take a piece of black felt, the same I used for his feet, and I'm going to come around the back, but I'm going to angle down so we end up with a turkey tail. So I'm going to fold in about halfway on each side. Okay. Fold in it on each side. Tack it down with the glue. And come down this way too. This is going to be the inside. I'm going to turn it over. Okay, here we go. I think it's crossed. I kept the edges clear so that my fingers don't get burned. Okay, I come in here. And I want it to be a little bit bumpy and gnarly. So this part here, let me fix the side a little better now that I know where it's going to stay. And this piece acts sort of like his wings and his, his back tail feathers, the ones that don't flip up. Use as much glue as you need to to keep that together. I'm going to fuss with it until I get it. The reason why I didn't care that much about how this is all bundled up in the back is because this turkey has been roaming and he caught into some leaves. So I have some fabric leaves here that I'm going to attach just to add a little more color, a little more interest. And so I'm going to set them in a pattern that I like. Looks like three on the top. Here we go, more with the glue. And I have to be careful with the glue because this is fabric and it, it does pick up the heat. That one's affixed. Don't need a lot. This is really light fabric. I didn't cut these fabric pieces out. I found them somewhere. And then attach the final one. And that takes care of his tail. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my gosh. I think he's turning out really cute, but that's just me. There is our turkey. Do we want to do anything else to him? I don't think so. I have to water the mum. Ready for your table decoration. What do you think? And there you have it. It's Mr. Turkey. He won't gobble up anything on your table, but he sure will look nice sitting on it. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. I'd love to hear about it. I really would. See you, Mr. Turkey, and see you again. <laughs>